What's going on, guys? I thought I would uh, show you guys a sneak peek of the new maps that just came out recently. Uh, remake maps. This is Beaver Creek from Halo 2. Obviously, it looks really good. Um, I mean, the map looks awesome. Like, graphics are really good. And it runs about the same. They added a lot of new stuff to these new maps, so. But, like, uh, the other maps, uh, Rockets and stuff's in the same place. And I had the settings adjusted, by the way. You can't make jumps like that to, so this video is not as long. Um, just kind of showing you where weapons are at. There's rockets and snipers, and they launch on each base to the right side of it. Um, behind the bases, there's also some uh, lifts that go on top of the base instead of teleporters. And then farther behind the bases, there is uh, teleporters. There's also these little tunnel things, and a sword in the bottom middle. Um, but there's these tunnels that just kind of go around. I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to... Uh, Show you real fast where shotguns at. Shotguns there. So in each base, so that's basically power weapons. If uh, you were curious, they have these little tunnels though. They're not much to them. There's supplies on each side. Look really nice, like a grotto. It looks like it'd be a Playboy Mansion or something. It's really good and cool. Um, like I said, the lift behind the base is right here. You can just uh, hit it and go up. There's a assault rifle, plasma pistol behind the base. There's glass here. You can't really see it until you shoot it so don't blow yourself up with rockets or something trying to shoot down somebody uh, there's a DMR in here um where'd it go uh there it is <clears throat> you can go through the uh teleport and it takes you to the other side of the map now I'm behind the other base and on top of this blue base once again there's glass I missed it um what else okay the weapons times are just like any other thing too. Like a uh, sniper's on like a three minute timer, so is rockets, for the most part. So I'll be showing you that in a second. How that works, All right? You can nade through those little holes like that into the base where the flag would be, or where you would plant the bomb and assault or something like that. There's also this jump up where you can jump on top of the base really easily if you didn't have your settings tweaked, where you can run 100 miles an hour and jump like a gazelle inside the base looks pretty good it's pretty generic but it's i mean it has really good graphics and whatnot also you can throw nades through the windows back out there's a help pack in the base also um there's just where the shotgun is going to be all right i don't like holding shotgun um the front of the base and you come right out a few little trees everywhere you know um the three minute timer is going to work as far as weapons, from when you pick up the rockets, say, pick up the rockets, I don't know exactly, um, pick them up about 15 sec 10, 15 seconds into the game, so that'll be, it'll be three minutes from when I picked them up, so that'll be about 11.45 at the latest on the 15 minute side. So the rockets are going to be up 11.45-ish. And there they are, <clears throat> like 47. And the sniper, I picked up right after, as you remember last time, but it doesn't spawn. That's because I have a sniper on my back, even though it has, uh, if it has bullets in it or not, it will still not appear until you drop it. So the sniper should be up now. I'm just going to go ahead and waste ammo and drop it and uh, show you how, how it comes up. Because this is, uh, if you guys are trying to time weapons and stuff and wondering why they're, they're not accurate, is because of this. <coughs> and there it is. Easy as that. You can't hold a uh, empty sniper on your back and expect it to come back up. It doesn't work like that. It's part of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.